Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato and Optifine Updates for 114 are coming fast and furious now. We're on preview four as of this video. And of course, I want to try to make these videos where they'll last into the future as well. So I don't have to keep making videos all the time as much as you guys might like to watch me. I'm just kidding, guys. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate everybody that watches. So um, basically, I'm going to show you another method to install Optifine so we can be really comprehensive in what we do. And this one is easier and it's more transportable across versions without you having to change anything without using the Optifabric loader, which is really great. And that is probably the simplest method uh and the most extensive method method because you can install a lot of mods but as well but basically we're going to do it to where in multi mc you can just add optifine to your instance okay so again i showed you the method which is the recommended method that's why i did that at first uh to install in multi mc for optifine using json files where you adjust the version numbers and stuff like that inside of there now the reason one of the reasons I suppose it's this is the preferred method is it because if you look out here in your instance folder under libraries, you're going to see the label jar name and all that kind of stuff uh, in here in the patches. So it's a little bit cleaner way of doing it, but you know, people may not be comfortable with working with JSON files. Then there was the Optifabric method of doing it where we use the fabric loader and we put it in the loader mods. And again, this is like so simple to do. Anybody can do it if you run fabric and I have comprehensive videos. I'll leave video links to each one of these. We're gonna do a new one where we embed it directly into the jar file. Okay, now we're still gonna to have to extract it. By the way, in my Opta fabric video, uh, I said that you needed to extract this uh, loader from it it still works fine but you don't have to do that uh, i don't know if you'll continually have to do it in the multi mc i'll check that but you had to do it at first with the first releases okay so I'll, i may make some pin comments and stuff about that but anyway all right so we do need to extract it so i have the new one here the latest one guys only get it from optifine.net slash downloads okay only get it from there but when you download it to your disk, you'll go to this preview versions link here, expand it, and then it'll show you the latest ones. Download it. Uh, you'll have to watch some ads and stuff like that, but uh, do what you need to do. Okay, so once it's down on your disk, you want to right click on it, choose open. Um, again, I'm on Mac, but so it's asking me to allow it through Gatekeeper. Uh, Windows does a similar thing with Windows Defender. Okay, uh, you should be able to translate easily between these guys, between the operating systems, it's not a big deal. All right, so we're waiting for the installer to launch because we want to extract. So it's gonna ask you for a location. It's, we wanna extract it basically to the same place that we were, I did it in my downloads folder and we're good. So it extracted this file right here. Okay, so it still basically has the underscore mod at the end of it, I guess just to help you know that that's what it is and it get, gets rid of it, okay? So I'm assuming these do need to be extracted again because the problem with embedding in MultiMC was that preview was not at the front of the name. Uh, it was just Optifine alone, all right? So, uh, all right, we have everything extracted. Let's go ahead and create our new instance for 114, not 114.1, 114, and I'm just gonna name it 114 uh, Optifine Jar, okay? Because we're gonna embed it inside of the jar. So there it is right there. And so I just open it, uh, edit instance right here. Okay, and then I wanna choose this add to the jar button down here under advanced. Okay, so we're gonna choose add to jar, preview four, grab it, and then there we go, okay? So now we should be able to launch and it's good. And that's all you have to do is just use add to jar and embed it directly into the jar. Now, of course, that's a great thing that multi that uh, multi mc does makes it so easy and by the way that's kind of how you go through and do jar modding like they did in the past for old mods okay mod loader mods and all this kind of stuff like beta 1.7.3 mods so i have some other videos on the channel about that uh, for jar modding in multi mc but it's also used for these modern simple mods like um well it's not technically a simple mod but it is a mod that is able to be embedded so we can go into video settings and here we go ladies and gentlemen we have optifine installed 
and I always have to kill the music goodbye music okay and there we go so everything's good we can go ahead and make our settings and some things have changed now we see max frame rate v-sync is available um, and all that kind of stuff anyway that's gonna be it for this video uh, hopefully that'll give you another option if for some reason you're not wanting to run the fabric mod loader uh, then and with forge comes out for 114 all this will kind of change but this is another method an easy method to run it directly in minecraft and basically just have minecraft and optifine uh, and you know your resource packs and shaders and stuff like that anyway that's gonna be it for this video it's got a motto hopefully it helps only get your optifine from optifine.net uh, i'll leave a link in the description of course have a great day thanks for watching everybody Bye bye